Hello guys, what is up? My name is Donald one to four race and we are doing science techie tutorials once again. Now this tutorial now this time I'm going to do wind power and generator power. The two really easy ways of power. Now for me wind power will not work. Yes, what you do is you just put it high in the sky and do something like that, branch off like a tree. But it won't work for me because, example here, I'm only three levels above bedrock. So if it's going to need to be high in the sky, it's obviously not going to work for me here. Let's do that now. But you guys can try it, and honestly, it's a good way of power, and it's super easy, and I will show you. Um, just in a second, though. I've got the thing here. Now we're doing now geothermal power. I will give a rating and wind power. I will give a rating of low power of EU because like you need to keep supplying it and wind power. Um, it isn't that bad. Just if you don't have a lot, it doesn't generate a lot of power. So all those have 64. And that's actually generating quite a bit, but you still have to keep refilling it up. So actually I guess it isn't that bad, but I wouldn't give it an MFE rating because it just doesn't generate it, generate power that quick. Now here is a wall of them. If we just fill all of these up with coal. So you need a lot, so if you're going to do this like a wall, I would have an energy condenser. Because put a gem in there and you get a lot of these, about 100, so that's a stack and 40 or 56 and that generates a lot of power it's a big wall so let's see how much it does with an MFE now an MFE um, that would take I don't know some around about 5 minutes but in that 5 minutes it would have probably burned about 20 pieces of coal now if you think of a geothermal generator I'm just going to go on out quickly. When you put 20 in here, it fills up. And then you can put another stack in. And it generates a lot more power for, than that. And it doesn't take much more resources. It only takes two refined iron. Uh, it only takes two refined iron and. Do you find on on the side generator in the bottom middle and two cells in the middle of it going upwards and then two glass on the side so four glass in total so it isn't really that difficult and it generates much more power and with a geothermal generator I gave it and writing of an MFE I think so anyway moving away from that these are the two ways I think are the best this is like if you have a lot of them which will generate quite a bit of power and this is if you don't have a lot of them obviously you put them higher but this is a quick example of what you could do and this you can just make a wall of it like do you do the geothermal generators and just fill it on manually or just do it like this or like this whichever you like so pretty simple ways um, they are really they're quite good beginner ways if you don't so is GFM power I would recommend that more than this though but windmills yes they are a really good way like solar panels you don't have to keep replying them but the thing about windmills they generate less power and there's less makes of them than solar rays but they never really turn off I still don't think so, I'm not a big pro on them because I don't use them a lot so anyway let me show you the grid of it um, say you make a windmill and for a windmill you will need four iron ingots put like that and for the generator you need an RV battery and three of iron iron and an iron furnace iron furnace, oh shit, I forgot to put that down and crafting Let's put it down quickly. You just put it in a 
box or let's do it again or you can do like this and then and then a furnace in the middle and to make a furnace you just get eight cobblestone and and basically this but it's cobble so pretty simple ways um and then you need food fine dyeing which is cooking some iron ingots into fine dyeing and to make an RV battery you just do this it's that and if you really want to know what a copper wire is rubber is sticky resin burnt which you get from rubber trees which you use a tree tap for oh my god that creates copper cable and to make a tree tap you just do this any type of wood and you do it like that and you basically grab it um, let's just get one out, I really want to go through this stuff I feel like I haven't been explaining it enough and if you don't know what bone meal is let's have a look just put any inventory and you get three or you can macerate it to get five rubber tree there's some sticky resin, get your tree tap and left click on it a lot of times until like you see that the markings gone there so that's basically it um, that is all you will need um, nothing else really, nothing much else windmills cannot be turned into anything else by my knowledge um, and, you, and you'll be able to check that I don't think it's going to be able to turn into anything else unless it's something new in the update and geothermal generators can be turned into I mean generators can be turned into quite some things so I left it for about 5 minutes and it's actually filled it up so I would all, so I would give this a MFE rating but you just say you have to keep filling it up and see I told you it would do about 20 and it would just take a diamond just to get that much so anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you a bit at least. Um, if you like this, if you are new to my channel, um, please leave a like or a comment on this video or any other video. And if you want to become a part of the viewers grid, okay, while well, I'm doing it grid, um, please, um, it would help if you. Oh, God, I'm fixing it up. Sorry. It would help if you left a, a like, and if. I'm forgetting now. And if you want to become one of the viewers greed, that's why I'm using the greed, um, please click the subscribe button. And if you like this again, please leave a like. It would really help that people like my video. And it would help if you shared it with some people to bring me some notice. And to help other people with techies. I uh, might be doing some Minecraft stuff, maybe some Terraria stuff, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know that much about Terraria. But anyway, thanks for watching for the fifth time, and goodbye.